welcome everyone. I am Mercy. Today I am presenting about Taiwan's classic snacks. In Taiwan, the most distinguishing feature is night market, which are found all over in Taiwan, in almost every city. There are various Taiwanese snacks sold in the night market. Here are six classic snacks which I choose. The first one is the oyster omelette. Oyster omelette is a Taiwanese snack that every visitor should try. You will get something from the sea and something from the land. It is, uh, it is made of eggs, oysters, potato starch, and vegetables that are fried in a pan and is eaten with a specially made sauce. This is a signature of Taiwan food. The second one is the sticky tofu. This is the world's best lovely or hybrid snack. And Taiwanese does it just right. The fragrant cube of bean curd is, is deep fried and dried with sweet and spicy sauce. If you hold your nose, it looks and tastes just like a plain piece of fried tofu with a crisp pacing and soft center like a protein. When you eat it, you should inhale, inhale deeply and relish the stench. The smellier, the better. The third one is the bar one. Can you see these pictures? This is my handmade meatballs. It's very delicious. And how to do these meatballs? Well, it's made with a dough of rice flour, cornstarch, and sweet potato starch. It looks almost uh, translucent at the steaming. Pork and veggies are stuffed inside. The gravy is poured on top. It's commonly believed that Bawang was invented during the period of scarcity. In addition, the simple pork dumpling was a luxurious snack enjoyed only during Chinese New Year. The first one is the large fried chicken. According to the report in 2011, Taiwanese devours more than 250,000 fried chicken cutlets each day. If piled atop each other, they would make a chicken cutlet tower 10 times that taller than Taipei 101. Taiwan's tallest skyscraper at 508 meters. You can taste the uh, oversized cutlet. The hugest size of meat is as big as your face. You can see this picture. And very juicy with a crispy cast. The spicy coating and pepper gives, gives it a kick. The fifth one is the bubble tea. Bubble tea represents the QQ food texture that the Taiwan needs love. The cute sounding phrase refers to something that is very chewy, just like the tapioca balls that are the bubbles in bubble tea. It's a said lot, the unique string was invented out of boredom. Liu Chen threw some sweetened tapioca pudding into her ice assembly tea on that fateful day in 1988. And one of the greatest Taiwanese exports was grown. More of bubble tea has various flavors, including taro flavored tea, jasmine tea, or coffee, served hot or cold. The largest, the, the last one is Taiwan needs egg cakes. 
This, this snack is my favorite dessert. Taiwanese egg cakes are slightly different from Hong Kong egg waffles or egg puffs. They should be brown and crispy on the outside, soft and fluffy inside. No frosting needed for these mini cakes. The point is to let their egg taste more through. It's a popular Taiwanese street food snack. In addition, there are other food and drinks which are available. For instance, demo ivy jewelry and winter, winter melon tea to cool off on summer days. There are also shopping and entertainment such as playing marbles, shooting brews, buying shoes, and closing at a good price in the night market. So you should put Taiwan in your travel list. It will give you a unique experience. So if you visit to Taiwan, you should contact me. I will give you discount. Really? Wow. Wow.